751, time for News Extra here on KNEB. And here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Jack Baker is here from Baker & Associates. And we're going to talk, uh, he's going to give us an update on the construction over at Scotts Bluff High School. Boy, a lot of things going on. You guys have been very busy here in the last uh, few months, especially since Thanksgiving. Things have kind of ratcheted up a little bit, right? Uh, yes, they have. It's really a busy place over there right now. A lot of things going on, uh, a lot of construction activity happening at the same time in different areas of the new uh, new portions of the building. Uh, it, they're, they're done with really most of the demo work for now and, and on to um, building foundations, building masonry walls, putting up steel structure, uh, putting in plumbing and underground piping, a lot of things happening. Okay. So this is all around the uh, the new classroom wing, basically. Uh, that's what people are seeing over there to the east, right? Yes. On the east side, you, you start to see the walls taking shape for the new classroom wing. There's a two-story wing, basically in kind of an L shape on that east side. Uh, there's also a lot of construction going on in the area between the existing gym and auditorium, which will be the new cafeteria commons area, as well as administration. Uh, and then on the south end, there's there'll be a new kitchen and servery, a new culinary classroom, and then uh, adjacent to the classroom wing, there'll be a new choir and band room and, and music tech area as well. Yeah. So all that's, all that's going on, really. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it'll, it'll just keep going on through the through this, uh, spring and probably even into the, into the summer months and so forth. And you've been able to keep all this new construction separate from what they're doing in the, in the old area right now. Right? Uh, yes, it, it's, it's worked well so far uh, between Hausman Construction and, and the SHS administration. They've done a great job of keeping things separated, walling off the construction areas, keeping any student activities well away from construction and, and all the access to and from the building away from the construction area. And so far, it's worked well. All right. And then uh, as we go, as we move further along, uh, the, one of the big things is is that as you go into next year, um, we're actually going to be moving some students and uh, the whole nine yards into this into this new wing later on next year, right? Correct. Uh, as we're in phase one of construction, which, as we stated, includes that new classroom wing, the new commons, and, and uh, new south entry. Uh, actually, later this year in the fall, that new south entry, new administration, and cafeteria commons will be open and ready for use. Then as we get into the second semester of next year, so January, a little less than a year from now, January of 17, the students will be into that new classroom wing and they'll completely move out of the old classroom wing and start to demo that around this time next year. So. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's hard to believe. I mean, uh, it just seems like yesterday we approved the bond issue and now we're, now we're going to have the kids a, a year from now into that that new classroom wing, and they're already kind of preparing for that, right? They are. They're already starting to look at uh, assigning rooms and look at scheduling for next year and how that's all going to work. And so it's exciting to see. And then uh, we'll still have another year of construction beyond that to finish phase two. And that will consist of the auxiliary gym, uh, the library media center, wrestling and weight area, and then the, the shop and, and ag wing as well. But uh, during that time, they'll, they'll be, at that time, all the operations and students will be inside uh, new construction and inside the new, new areas of the building. So. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. All right. We're going to talk more right after this break. Are you considering a career in broadcasting? With the help of KNEB and the Nebraska Broadcasters Association Foundation, you can be a part of our exciting field. We are offering two $1,500 scholarships to four-year college and university students who will have completed 60 credits as of May 31st. Let us help you reach your career goals. For more information, contact us at feedback at KNEB.com. Applications must be received by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association by March 2nd, 2016. We're back on News Extra. Uh, we've been kind of looking forward to this for a little while, get an update on the uh, Scotts Bluff High School construction. And we have Jack Baker here from Baker & Associates. As he mentioned in the uh, earlier segment, before the break, we're going into the new classroom wing. By this time next year, we'll be in that new classroom wing, and uh, that'll be fantastic. So you'll see a lot of construction over there to the east of the building and uh, also for that uh, for that entrance area and the new uh, cafeteria area and so forth. And then, as you mentioned, then the, then the uh, second part of the construction, once they even get into that, involves uh, the weight room and all that kind of stuff, right? Right. The weight room, the wrestling, new wrestling room new auxiliary gym, uh, new library media center. They'll remodel the north wing, which is currently the cafeteria, and turn that into a freshman classroom area. And then there'll be a new uh, ag and vocational 
uh, sciences or shop wing as well on, on that north side as part right. of phase two. So. All right. And uh, we have to give credit to the general contractor, Ausman Construction, uh, from Lincoln. And they've started to put to get a footprint in this community. They're doing other projects as well in addition to to this one. They've, they've hired a lot of local people to do the work here, right? They have. And we're pleased to see that. Uh, a lot of the, the uh, subcontractors and, and a lot of the workers you see out there every day are, are local. And so there's a lot of local involvement, um, local support for the project. And it's, it's really, really been positive. Yeah. How much is this project total now again? Uh, it's a little over, just over $34 million when you add in all the alternates. Uh, the base bid was, was a little under that, and then when you add in some alternate items that, were, that the school board did approve, it ends up being just over 34 Yeah. They've been staying in budget pretty much as far yeah. as uh, that goes? Yes, so far. Uh, we've had a, a few little ads here and there, but we've also had a few deducts here and there. And so we've been able to find some cost savings, and so it's gone both ways, and all in all, we're... We're staying, uh, staying right on target. All right. Well, it sounds fantastic. I mean, you guys are doing a great job, and it's always fun to go by the high school and see all the activity, and uh, people should just be aware it's going on and kind of stay out of their way and let them get, let them get their work done, right? Yeah, yeah, it's exciting to see, and uh, it, we're all going to get a, a firsthand look at it uh, over the next couple of years to see it take shape, and, and once it's all said and done, it'll just be a, a great addition to the community. Yeah, it's going to be a state-of-the-art high school i mean it's going to be uh it's going to be fantastic it really is yeah it'll, it'll be great i think it's something that will uh really improve the learning opportunities and the curriculum that they can offer to students as they work towards work in integrating a career academy model and so there's just a lot of exciting things happening yeah all right jack baker from baker and associates we appreciate him coming in giving us an update on the scotts bluff high school construction appreciate it thank you appreciate it when you think of radio and TV,